Laughing Loon Custom Canoes and Kayaks presents Building a Laughing Loon Badarka Part 2 This video is a condensed version of the more detailed 90-minute videos available on my website at laughingloon.com I'm Rob Max, designer, builder, and owner of Laughing Loon Custom Canoes and Kayaks in Jefferson, Maine. This is one of my Aleut style badarkas. The high volume hull with flared sides and the unusual stems work together to create the most seaworthy kayak in the world. To build this wood strip version, we must build stems first as separate parts and then set them on the strong back to strip the hull like other kayaks. In part one, we worked on the tail stem and we finished that up and set it up on the strong back. Now, in part two, we need to work on the bow stem. A number of permanent and temporary parts need to be assembled to create the stem and then it will be set up on the strong back. Using the full scale paper templates for the bow, we make temporary parts and glue up stock for the permanent parts. The foremost parts of the lower bow and the upper bow are permanent and will be part of the kayak. They require some shaping. Once all the parts of the bow stem are completed, the parts are assembled with hot glue to hold them temporarily in place and make them ready to receive strips from the hull and deck. Start by making the temporary stem and station number one out of half inch plywood. Then laminate stock for the lower bow and the upper bow. The lower bow is made from three parts. Two side cheeks, which are th three sixteenths of an inch thick, and a central core, which is a quarter inch thick. Trace the patterns and cut out the wood pieces and glue them together. The leading edge of the lower bow is tapered on an edge sander using 36 grit. Finish shaping and fine tuning of the lower bow is done with a rasp. Lay out the upper bow pattern on 3 quarter inch thick stock and glue two pieces together to create the upper bow blank. I drill holes on the top and the bottom surfaces of the block so that I can screw on this external handle which makes milling easier. Trim off excess from the upper bow blank on the bandsaw. A larger handle is even better Shape the upper bow on the edge sander using the 36 grit. Note that the handle is switched from top to bottom to allow the top surface and the bottom surfaces to be shaped. Do the final shaping with a rasp. Create recessed areas in the upper bow for strips from the hull to fit into. Test the strip depth. Pick up 
prepare the excess wood away carefully so you don't nick the permanent wood. Sand the lower bow and upper bow parts with 80 grit and then wet the wood surfaces down to raise the grain. Later they'll be finished sand with the rest of the boat. Now assemble the parts of the bow using hot glue to temporarily hold the permanent pieces to the temporary stem pieces. Now the Badarka bow stem is ready to be set up on the strong back with the tail piece and in part three we'll start stripping the hull. If you have any questions or comments you can email me at rob at laughingloon.com or you can give me a telephone call at 207-549 Three five three one. And as always, the latest information and updates and announcements for videos will be at my laughs will be at my website, laughingloon.com. Thank you. Thanks for watching and happy paddling. Visit my website for more videos, canoe and kayak plans, and a whole lot of free information.